Hey guys, it's Scott here from Anime Blu-ray UK and today I'll be unboxing the UK Collector's Edition release of Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam Part 1 which as you can see includes a chipboard art box. So just like with Anime Limited's release of Mobile Suit Gundam Part 1, the first thousand uh, copies will be released as a collector's edition form whereby you get an art box that would fit both Part 1 and Part 2 and they're continuing this trend with Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam which is what we have here. So to start off with we have the front of the box which as you can see has got some pretty cool artwork with the Zeta Gundam and a few other mobile suits in the background. There's no information saying what series is it is on the front but on the top and then on the spine we've then got the information that you know it is mobile suit zeta gundam as well as above that we have the gundam collection emblem that's present on all current uh, anime limited mobile suit gundam releases including the movie trilogy and uh, recon gista in g which is yeah quite interesting to note so the idea here is that uh, like i said earlier is that basically first thousand people to get this will get the chipboard art box after that it'll just be the standard amray blu-ray disc case on its own with no art box so if you're a mobile sort of gundam fan like myself then you'll want to get on top of this and get one of these units straight away otherwise you'll not be able to get an art box but as you can see once we've got the cellophane off the BBFC sticker that was, um, you know, on top of the box has gone. As as I say, that was a sticker. And then on the back, this piece of paper here is stuck to the back. Uh, unfortunately, mine has been stuck down so well that I can't actually grab it anywhere to peel it off. But I tend to leave them on anyway, so I guess that's a good thing. And then as per usual on the back, we've got a selection of screenshots, a little bit of our work, synopsis of what Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam is all about, specifically this first part, and then information about what this set contains. In this case, uh, about 25 episodes across three Blu-ray discs. Now, mine, I think, got a bit damaged during transit as the chipboard art box is a bit bent inwards. But as you can see there, there's nothing really special about the art box. On the inside, it's just plain white, no inside artwork or anything like that. So just pretty simple, but it gives you that complete series collection feel once you've got both parts. Now, if you once you take the uh, art box away or once the art box goes out of print, you'll then be welcomed with just the Amory case itself. So like I said before, first thousand copies will come with the art box. After that, it'll just be this case on its own. And as you saw there, the uh, back of the actual sleeve was the same as the sheet on the back of the art box. You know, have to have continuity across them all. As you can see, once you open it up, uh, we've got three Blu-ray discs with disc one featuring episodes one to eight. And then disc two featuring nine to 16. And then disc three, which is placed behind disc two featuring episodes 17 to 25. Now, it's a bit bizarre that Anime Limited have opted to use this type of uh, Blu-ray case, whereby the two, disc two and disc two three, uh, slide behind one another. Um, not really seen it done before. I know a few people have had some sort of issues with it. I mean, personally, I don't mind it, um, but yeah, it's quite unexpected. And as you saw behind the actual discs, there's a reversible artwork sleeve. So if you want to change it around and swap it to give you that better artwork on the front of the case, you can do. So that's what you can expect from Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam Part 1, which has been released on Blu-ray as a collector's edition art box form.